What's up everyone, Joe here, back again with Jar Jar Jargon, and today I just wanted to break down the Star Wars Celebration panel schedule. So Star Wars Celebration is starting uh, this Friday, April 7th. It's going to be in London, so I'm sure there's lots of us that are not going to be able to attend, but I wanted to break down the schedule of the panels and kind of discuss what we can expect to see during those panels. Uh, so I do have a schedule actually pulled up right here. Um, so as, as I said, things are kicking off Friday, and very early on, on the East Coast, uh, due to the the time difference, we're going to get that Lucasfilm Studio showcase. So that's going to be the big one. That's where we're going to expect to see any movie announcements. I know there's been kind of some rumblings about at least one movie being uh, being announced during that showcase. That would be the former Damon Lindelof written movie. Uh, now, really hoping we get at least some additional news around that movie. Maybe some casting even to make it more set in stone. I know we've gotten, pre you know, previously we've gotten tons of movie announcements that are just a title card and a director attached to it, and they've never amounted to anything. So hopefully we get something a little more concrete uh, around the movie news. If we don't, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm sure there's going to be lots of news around TV. So uh, the other thing I am expecting during this showcase would actually be the Ahsoka trailer. Now, there is going to be an Ahsoka panel the next day uh, where I think they might dive in a little deeper, but I, I do think we're going to get the trailer on that Friday. Um, and the reason is because if you look at last year's, we got the Andor trailer trailer uh at this lucasfilm studio showcase as well and that was released to the public that day so i think i think that one's going to be released to the public um there may be a skeleton crew or acolyte kind of teaser uh but i don't believe that those would be released to the public you know unfortunately it's going to probably be for only those who are attending at that time there's the making of Andor season one. I'm not sure if that's just discussing the making of Andor or some sort of documentary. If it is a documentary, hopefully that gets released on Disney Plus at a later date or at that time. Moving on to Saturday, that's where you're going to have the big Ahsoka panel. I'm sure that's going to be Dave and John, uh, similar to the Mandalorian panel they had last year. And I'm sure it'll also be tie-in shows. So if there's any news regarding uh, Book of Boba Fett Season 2 or Mandalorian Season 4, I'm sure it'll come dur during that panel as well. Um, so that's going to be really interesting to see kind of what their future plans are for the Mandalorian era shows and Ahsoka is going to be the main focus there. And I think we're going to get some casting news. I'm not sure if we're going to get the casting of Thrawn, but you know, if, if Thrawn is revealed by, you know, this week during the Mandalorian, then I'm sure we'll know by, by Saturday who's playing Thrawn, but I don't, I don't see that happening. So I think they're going to keep that pretty uh, close to their chest. If you remember right, they had a uh, conference a few years ago, right after what, while the Mandalorian season two was airing, and they did not announce the Book of Boba Fett during that uh, during that big Investor Day conference. But, uh, you know, two weeks later, we got the announcement of the Book of Boba Fett. So um, I could see them holding the casting of Thrawn pretty close to their chest until we actually get to see him in live action, which, uh, like I said in my previous video, I do think is going to happen during the Mandalorian Season 3. Moving on, we got 40 Years Return of Jedi. That is a pretty cool panel. It would be really nice to see either Harrison or... Uh, Mark Hamill obviously show up. That would be awesome. We'll have to see if if one of them do show up. At this point in time, I don't think either of them have been announced, but it'll be cool to at least look back on The Return of the Jedi, which is uh, an awesome ending to the original trilogy. Uh, let's see. We got the Hasbro panel, of course. I'm going to tune into that. Um, looking to see what the next HasLab is going to be. There's been some rumors that it's going to be a ghost ship uh, from Rebels, and I think that's going to tie into Ahsoka. So, that would be an awesome HasLab. It would um, go great with the Razor Crest that they did a few years ago. So we'll have to wait and see. I know the HasLabs have kind of failed recently with the uh, Rancor and the Reva Inquisitor lightsaber. Those were pretty big failures for Hasbro. So um, hopefully they have some good releases. Not really expecting too much from that. I know Hasbro has been a little slow on the releases lately. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Of course, I'm a big fan of the Black Series helmets, as you can see behind me. And I would love to see a Captain Rex helmet. Uh, they did release Phase 2 Clone Trooper this year. Um, but I'm looking to see some some painted versions of that soon, hopefully. The High Republic panel. I don't... Is anyone reading that? I don't know. Um, the Young Jedi screening. I'm pretty sure that's a show for toddlers or something so so we got the clone wars panel i'm pretty sure this is clone wars the tv show so i can assume that 
Um, you know, the cast from the TV show, uh, Dee Bradley Baker, Ashley Eckstein are going to be there. Um, not really sure what else I'm expecting there. Maybe it'd be cool if they showed some finished versions of those uh, initial season seven shots that they had. I know that they had some season seven footage kind of put together in the past that it wasn't wasn't really finished. It'd be cool to see those finalized. Uh, maybe that's something we could get. All right, Sunday, we got the villains of the sequel trilogy. Once again, Adam Driver's not going to be there, so I'm not sure anyone's going to really care about that one. A look back at Obi-Wan Kenobi. Not sure what they're looking back at. Maybe they're just kind of revisiting, talking about stories on set. I think Hayden will definitely be there. I'm not sure if Ewan's been announced for uh, Celebration or not, but it'd be cool if they could at least get on stage and discuss their time back in uh, Star Wars. That'd be really cool. Uh, Disney Parks. Should be interesting to see what they have to say about the Halcyon uh, because things are not going well there. And Lucasfilm Publishing. So really interested to see what kind of books they have coming out. I'm I'm really wondering if there's going to be anything that takes place around the era post Return of the Jedi. Um, Any New Republic stories would be really interesting. Uh, Or if they move on past the sequel trilogy, that would be interesting as well. So uh, not hold my breath for anything crazy, but it will be nice to at least learn about what's going on in publishing. Uh, the cosplay competition will be really cool as well. Um, hopefully that is live streamed to the YouTube live. So I know they're going to be doing the Star Wars TV live. Um, and mostly they're just going to bring people on who just attended panels and do brief interviews and stuff like that. We're not going to get most of these panels. Um, I think we'll probably get the 40 years return of the Jedi, maybe the clone wars anniversary panel, um, probably villains of the sequel trilogy, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I would think the Hasbro one, but that might be on the Hasbro pulse website or, uh, YouTube page. So we'll have to see it. Hopefully we get the cosplay competition. That would be really fun to watch. I'm sure there's going to be some crazy costumes there. Monday is the last day. We got the bad batch panel. So hopefully there's a announcement for season three. There hasn't been at this point in time. Uh, I know they're going to talk about season two, but hopefully we get that announcement for season three. Um, we have the visions volume two panel, maybe a little preview of what's to come, maybe a trailer. I don't even think there's a trailer at this point in time. So that'd be nice. And then of course the closing ceremony after that, it's really all there is. It's not a super jam packed celebration. The really interesting thing here is this is the last celebration until 2025. So there's not going to be one in 2024, but I'm sure it'll be back in the States for 2025. And hopefully by then there's definitely some movie news going on. So there's really going to be one thing to focus on here. And that's going to be Friday with that studio showcase to see if there is going to be any movie announcements and then announcements about future shows that we haven't really heard anything about lately. Maybe the Andor show, or like I said, maybe book of Boba Fett season two is coming out. Um, that would be great to learn. Or maybe there's a new show that they're announcing in that era because they really are playing a lot in that era, especially John and Dave. They're kind of, um, working up to some you know grand event with grand admiral thrawn so that'll be really interesting to see what comes of that and the ahsoka showcase and, and those are the only ones i'm really looking forward to um uh, but beyond that you know we'll just have to see if we're in for any good surprises but that's all i got for you today just kind of wanted to walk through that schedule uh if this is your first time on the channel please do like and subscribe and thanks for watching Oh, Manu Matafa.